How all the thieves were brought asleep by their new companion. Then the young man spake again, saying, Masters, why go we not about to make our prayers unto Mars, touching this selling of the maiden, and to seek for other companions? But as far as I see, here is no other manner of beast to make sacrifice withal, nor wine sufficient for us to drink. Let me have, quoth he, ten more with me, and we will go to the next castle, to provide for meat and other things necessary. So he and ten more with him, went their way, in the mean season, the residue made a great fire and an altar with green turfs in the honor of Mars. By and by after they came again, bringing with them bottles of wine, and a great number of beasts, amongst which there was a big ram-goat, fat, old, and hairy, which they killed and offered unto Mars. Then supper was prepared sumptuously, and the new companion said unto the other, You ought to accompt me not only your captain in robbery and fight, but also in pleasures and jollity, whereupon by and by with pleasant cheer he prepared meat, and trimming up the house he set all things in order, and brought the pottage and dainty dishes to the table, but above all he plied them wel with great pots and jugs of wine. Sometimes, seeming to fetch somewhat, he would go to the maiden and give her pieces of meat, which he privily took away, and would drink unto her, which she willingly took in good part. Moreover, he kissed her twice or thrice whereof she was well pleased but I, not well contented thereat, thought in myself, O wretched maid, thou hast forgotten thy marriage, and doest esteem this stranger and blotty the f above thy husband which thy parents ordained for thee, now perceive I well thou hast no remorse of conscience, but more delight to tarry and play the harlot here amongst so many swords. What? Knowest thou not how the other thieves if they knew thy demeanor would put thee to death as they had once appointed, and so work my destruction likewise? Well now I perceive thou hast a pleasure in the damage and hurt of other. While I did angrily devise with myself all these things, I perceived by certain signas and tokens, not ignorant to so wise an assy, that he was not the notable the F. Hamus, but rather Lepolemus her husband, for after much communication he began to speak more frankly, not fearing at all my presence, and said, Be of good cheer my sweet friend Charites, for thou shalt have by and by all these thy enemies captive unto thee. Then he filled wine to the thieves more and more, and never ceased, till as they were all overcome with abundance of meat and drink, when as he himself abstained and bridled his own appetite. And truly I did greatly suspect, lest he had mingled in their cups some deadly poison, for incontinently they all fell down asleep on the ground one after another, and lay as though they had been dead.